Hello everyone and welcome to Sometimes Drunk. I know it's been a little while, but uh, we're back and we have some cartoons for you. Yeah. That's what we're going to be talking about, cartoon combat. Um, <laughs> we chose Fights to the death. Fights to the death? Yeah. <laughs> um, tournament style. Tournament style. We're going to be uh, talking about a few of our favorite 80s cartoons. And um, that we when we did start talking about it, that led to talking about favorite 90s cartoons. But let's get the 80s out of the way first. Because we are both 80s babies. 80s babies, kind of. 1987 counts. Shut up. Sure. Um, <laughs> there's a lot of people who be like, no, it doesn't. It's done. But, uh, yeah, so we wrote down a few of a few of our favorite cartoons from the 80s, and we went and checked. I hope all of these are from the 80s, at least. They are. And we're going to pit them against each other. In Mortal Kombat. In Mortal Kombat. Cartoon combat. Should we just get right into it? Uh, yeah, let's just go right to it. We have 16 of them, and... Uh, that was tough. That whittling, was tough, whittling yeah. it down to 16. Whittling it down to 16 wasn't fun. No. But, uh, yeah, we have 16. Do you want to list the 16 that we're pitting together? We went to the uh, random, we went to the, we went to random.org and put them in there, hit randomize, so they are. They're just completely random. We had no say in selecting which cartoon was pitted against which other cartoon. And yeah. It's tough. It's so that, that's what's going to make it fun, yeah. though, is uh, the fact we haven't... Well, no say in it. No say in what's going to be going against each other. So yeah, let's get started right away. The first cartoon combat, that's just fun to say to me, is Muppet Babies versus Rescue Rangers. Chippendale Rescue Rangers. Chippendale Rescue Rangers. What do you remember the most about those two cartoons, Felicia? Well, Muppet Babies... I always remembered really loving the Muppet Babies. It was really cute, it was really imaginative, and unfortunately, it used a lot of copyrighted material. I mean, like, it was within their boundaries to use, but I remember they used, like, in the intro alone, they used Indiana Jones, they used uh, Star Wars, they used news footage from, like, 1940s and 50s newsreels and stuff. And it was just, it was just really cute. It was all the, it was all the characters from the original Muppets, Kermit the Frog, Miss Piggy, Gonzo. Gonzo was always my favorite. And um, it set them in as children, as small, small children, babies. And they would... Hmm. Muppet they, babies. Yeah. Um, they could go on adventures without ever leaving their nursery because they used their imaginations. And they put themselves into movies and stuff. But uh, all the things they did parody, it's probably why you will never see Muppet babies on DVD. Because, uh, exactly. That's why I said, unfortunately, they used a lot of copyrighted stuff. It's just, it would just be a huge legal thing. Lots of, lots of fees to it'd use be a pain. things. It'd yeah. be a pain in the ass. To lots do. of royalties to pay, and um, yeah. I used to love watching Muppet Babies, but um, <laughs> Chip and Dale. Chip and Dale Rescue Rangers is probably going to be the the winner here. Yeah, before it was even uh, Rescue Rangers, though, I remember watching uh, Chip and Dale cartoons with Donald Duck and. See, I never did. Really? Rescue Rangers was my first Chip and Dale. Ex- that was experience. your introduction. Yes, to Chip it was and my da- first wow. introduction. It was my introduction to them. Uh, I started watching them when they were just going <laughs> when they would do that, and you know, Donald would be like, "Hey, f you, chipmunks!" Yeah. Um. Uh, Donald Duck was nowhere in this cartoon ever. <laughs> no, wasn't he? No. Never, not even Never, once? Never, not once. D- um, intros. You said the intro to the Muppet Babies parody, uh, indie and all that. Yeah. The Rescue Rangers intro is epic. Freaking amazing. And, uh, Chip is basically indie. Come yeah. on, the yeah. hat and everything. The jacket. Uh, did you ever play the Rescue Rangers video game? I did not. And it was hard. Yeah. Pro- I, well, it was hard when I was a kid. Yeah, pitting those two together, we have no say in it, but for me, it would definitely be Rescue Rangers. Who was your favorite character on Rescue Rangers? Um, I actually liked Monterey Jack. I loved him. Didn't he do the flying? No. But what, wait, who did the flying? Gadget. Gadget? Or did Chip? I don't remember. What did Monterey do? Uh, eight cheese. Eight cheese, that was basically <laughs> it. And sound cool. Yes. Who, who did his voice? Jim it, Cummings. Was it Jim? Okay, we'll probably... Probably be bringing him up quite a bit in this list. Yeah, fun fact, the girl who did the lady, who did the voice of uh, Gadget, the mouse, 
She also did the voice for Zipper, the fly. I was about to mention Zipper. I, I can't believe I remember <laughs> every single character's name. I don't remember Gadget's last name, but it, it was something with a with a wrench or something in her name was something. I don't know. I don't know. Gadget wrench. Gadget something wrench, or wrench something. I don't know. But yeah, Dale was my favorite. I really liked Monterey Jack, but I did I did watch a lot of Muppet Babies. I guess if it comes to a Rescue Rangers is way fresher. I guess, in my mind. I don't know how to say it. Yeah. Fresher. Clearer. It's Cle clearer in No, your mind. no, it is fresher. <laughs> um, so, so I'm I'm Rescue Rangers. How about you? Rescue Rangers. Sorry, Muppet Babies. Ding, ding, ding. Knockout. Loved you, but uh, Rescue Rangers, especially that theme song. But yes. then again, the theme song. That was really cute. Mm -hmm. I loved that one, but yeah, Rescue Rangers. Yeah, Rescue Rangers is badass. Next, again, I'm not... This one's going to be kind of hard. Uh, Garfield. Garfield and Friends. Garfield and Friends versus the Ghostbusters. Da 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 da. You are da -da 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 -da. Move on. Uh -huh. No. I loved Ghostbusters. I had the uh, Ecto 1. I had the the pro Proton pla Plaque. Proton Pack. Thank you for speaking for me because I can't. <laughs> I had the, uh, the little trap that pushed down and air would open up the trap. I had the action figures. Um, I totally bought into Ghostbusters when I was a kid. Um, I had none of this stuff. Yeah. And I wanted all of it. And <laughs> that's why I remember what they were called. <laughs> um, but just freaking amazing show. I remember having it on a VHS, and uh, when it did come on TV, I would, <clears throat> you know, steal it. <laughs> I would just record them and watch them over and over. Now, I'm different in that I only ever... I watched the show maybe once or twice as a kid. Mm -hmm. But the only flavor of high C I would ever drink was Ecto Cooler. Yes. I remember that uh, uh, the high C's used to have uh, Slimer. Yeah, they had Slimer on, the on them and the stuff was green. Mm -hmm. And delicious. And freaking good, yeah. Uh, do you remember the uh, Slimer paste thing it looked like, like paste a, candy yeah it looked like it came in like a toothpaste thing i don't remember the slimer specifically but i do remember other kinds of like paste candy yeah um and it, it was sorry really weird it was good but it was really weird yeah you it, um came in like a toothpaste tube and yeah. when you squeeze it, it was green that stuff was really good too yeah but um yeah miss really miss stuff like that i know <laughs> um, but to be honest with you, I watched more Garfield than Ghostbusters. Mm. I almost never missed an episode of Garfield and Friends. Probably could sing you the theme song, but I don't want to embarrass myself. Garfield? Yes. Do it. No. Do it. Sing no. Sing five seconds. No. Please, come <laughs> on. I'm refusing. Come on. No. Pe people would love that. Uh-uh. Mm -mm. There's people listening right now like, <laughs> make her sing it. <laughs> never. Okay, fine. For me... Ghostbusters all the way. For me, it's Garfield. Really? I can't. I know some people nowadays really hate Garfield, and to me, that is completely unfounded. Well, I Lorenzo Music is one of the great, like, unsung voice actors of the time. He yeah. was Garfield. It's just sad for us now. Well, not for us, but for kids now, they have those really crappy Garfield movies. The the Garfield movies and the CGI. Frickin' Garfield show. But, and, uh, uh, Bill Murray did the voice of Garfield, which was probably the best choice, I guess. Yeah. But it, do you remember his scene in Zombieland? Yes. That's amazing. He, uh, when, oh, uh, well, okay, spoiler for spoiler Zombieland. Spoiler alert for Zombieland. Uh, go uh, ahead. Bill Murray gets fatally shot, and as he is laying there dying, his uh, the people that shot him are actually fans. It was an accident. It was a misunderstanding. He was dressed as a zombie and playing a prank on a, a really kind of twitchy character uh, who shot him. And they, as he's laying there dying, they ask him... <laughs> <laughs> Sir, do you have any regrets? Do you have any regrets? And he says, well, maybe Garfield. <laughs> and right there, like, the entire... That movie was terrible! The theater. Zombie? No, Garfield. Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> but I just remember, like, the entire the theater, theater just, just cracked up. up. The next line, you could not hear it. Mm. It was so great. So. But I will I will concede Ghostbusters to you. You will? I will. Neat. So, uh, I shouldn't, because the next 
the next lineup I'm seeing, I have no say in whatsoever. I didn't watch either of these shows, but I will concede this one to you. Ghostbusters is the winner out of okay. those two. So Rescue Rangers and Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters. Moving on. Um, they're moving on, and our next cartoon combat is between, like she said, she never, she didn't watch either of these, Transformers versus Thundercats. I liked Transformers a lot. I, you know, I haven't watched any of the Transformers movies. Good. With uh, <laughs> Shia LaBeouf. Um, Shia LaBeouf. Um, yeah, well, you never know. He might get uppity one day and be like, it's LaBeouf. <laughs> um, but I never watched those. Just didn't have any interest in them. Thundercats, I absolutely loved. Um, I like the new Thundercats. The new Thundercats was freaking awesome. It kicked ass. It makes me sad that um, it's pretty much dead already. Yeah. The coolest part of the new Thundercats, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to shut up about the new Thundercats. The coolest part of it was Lionel from the original Thundercats coming in and playing the new Lionel's <laughs> father. Yeah, that was that was really neat. If that is not a torch passing, mm. I don't know what is. Um so with Thundercats, my cousin and I we would um we all played Thundercats in <laughs> in the yard. That's why like I remember um I I think I ended up playing Panther of the most. <laughs> Because I liked Panther, I was like, he's a Pan yeah. I was like, Panther was freaking awesome. But uh, I had a lot of Transformers toys, but I didn't hold on to Transformers anything like I, I did Thundercats. Thundercats was just freaking fun to me. <laughs> so you never saw, you no. never watched either of those. No. Um, and I know if you go back and you watch Thundercats now, it's like, oh god. Yes, it is. I have gone back and watched Thundercats now. It's terrible. <laughs> the voice acting. The voice acting doesn't match is... for half the roles. Uh, snarf, I want to punt into snarf. a volcano. And uh, the animation blows. It's like, <laughs> do something! Hey, come on! That, it was... that, that intro, man. That intro spoils you. Mm. Because they do more in the intro than they ever do in the show. No, uh, I just remember, like, you hear it, <laughs> dun, 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 and you're like, I'm in. Yeah, like, I will I love, give you that. I love Thundercats, so Thunder Thundercats takes that one for me. Thundercats wins. Now the next one, we, <laughs> uh, we might argue a little about. We will. <laughs> Alvin and the Chipmunks. Versus He-Man and the Masters of the Universe. I never watched He Man. <laughs> I'm afraid never to watched speak. He Man. Why? Because there's uh I used to know so many big Alvin and the Chipmunk fans. Yeah. And they were very protective really? of the show, yeah. I loved I loved that show. I don't know. I it it was really cute. It was just I don't know. Chipmunks. <laughs> chipmunks, that's all you have How to say? How the fuck can you go wrong? Do you remember those chipmunks. Do you remember those uh, cr uh, Christmas CDs that they yes. used to put out? Oh my god. You couldn't go Ugh. anywhere without hearing a chipmunk's Christmas song. Do they do that anymore? Uh, yes. Oh god. Well, I mean, I don't know if they do with the new ones. Well, for us, when they we probably were kids, would. around Christmas, at least for me, not at my house, but like all my relatives' house, you would hear... <laughs> The freaking chipmunks. What was the one? For hours. Oh my god, what was the one? I can't... Uh, please Christmas, don't be late, or something like that. That was the one that I always remembered. <laughs> you know, I really enjoyed He-Man. I loved He-Man. I, um, I had Castle Grayskull. I, Dork. I was big with action figures when I was a kid. Dork. And the worst part is <laughs> I sold a box. Oh, you suck. I've told you about I've this. Told, you've told me this story millions of times. Ecto-1 in there, um, 20, 30 Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, uh, He-Man, I had the horses, um, I had everything. All these awesome toys that you can't find anymore. I sold a box of them for 20 bucks when I was a kid. You suck. 20 freaking bucks. But uh, wh what would you go with, Alvin or He-Man? Alvin. Alvin. I'm going to go ahead and give that to you because I was a dumbass and sold all my toys. 
Alvin and the Chipmunks wins this round. So, <laughs> there's a lot of guys being like, dude, don't, <laughs> don't give her Alvin over He-Man. I gave you Ghostbusters. Okay, fair enough. Or did I? Yes, I did. You did give me Ghostbusters. So, next on the list. Oh, oh, oh this one hurts me. This one hurts me badly. <laughs> this one, it doesn't hurt me as much as another one that's going to come up soon, but it hurts me pretty badly. Um, the Adventures of the Gummy Bears versus Beetlejuice, the animated series, which I loved both of them dearly as a kid. I, um, with Gummy Bears, I remember being, uh, I watched Gummy Bears the most when I was at my aunt and uncle's house. I don't know why, but, um... I absolutely loved it, and that's like what yeah. me and my cousins always watched. It, it was just, it was just a fun adventure kind of show that just that featured anthropomorphic bears. And I do believe Beetlejuice came much later. Yeah, I think so. Um, like very, very, very late eighties. Like Gummy Bears was mid eighties, and Beetlejuice was late eighties. So, uh, which theme song are you going to sing? Gummy Bears or Beetlejuice? Gummy Bears! <laughs> bouncing here and there and everywhere. Doo -doo. Something, something, something beyond compare. <laughs> it doesn't matter, it's Gummy Bears. No. Yeah. Um, I fucking love that song. I love it. It's, it's like, I don't know, it's very folky, but mm -hmm. very, like, gets you kind of pumped up for the show at the I, same time. I do hate hearing it now because I'm, I'll walk around the rest of the day being like, mm, 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 Yes, mm, that's mm, very true. Mm. It's an earworm. Yeah, um, Beetlejuice. Uh, Sorry, uh, go ahead. No, go ahead. Beetlejuice, of course, is based on the Tim Burton movie, which, of course, they also had to water down for the show. And, for instance, Beetlejuice and Lydia are BFFs. <coughs> yeah. Um. <laughs> Lydia can enter the neither world at will. The neither world? The neither world at will. By uh, uttering some weird incantation. I don't know. The From what I remember, the book that she finds in the movie is nowhere to be found in the show. Hmm. It's just some weird incantation that she has to do. Or well, no, it's not a weird incantation. She just has to say Beetlejuice three times. What the fuck yeah, am I thinking? I have no idea. <laughs> um, you know, know how you watch Garfield more than the Ghostbusters. Uh -huh. I watch Gummy Bears more than Beetlejuice. I really did. I watched probably them both equally. <coughs> I remember my sister even had Sorry. a Beetlejuice t-shirt. Um, the intro, the music, will... It's another one of those theme songs, like classic cartoon theme songs yeah. that will be in your head forever. Yeah. Till the day you die. And you know, I've actually thought about that. I'm like, I'm going to be on my deathbed. <laughs> this is some weird, obscure 80s yeah. cartoon and theme like, song is going to pop you, through your head. Do you have any last words? Gummy bears! <laughs> oh, there. please no. And you'll just be like, oh, man. The last thing he ever did was sing about freaking gummy bears. The one thing I do want to say, and I, I'm not sure if I've ever even told you this. The first... The very first dream I can ever remember recalling in my life, I had at age, I think, three or four, and it was gummy bears. First dream I ever had, res I think it might have been Rescue Rangers. The, uh, the first dream that I can ever remember, and I can still remember what happened in it. Who's the bad guys in Rescue Rangers, those cats? Yeah. Do you remember the cat, the orange cat that wore the uh, beanie type thing? Yes. That talked really stupid? Yeah. Yeah. I, I had a dream. This is so <laughs> stupid. But I had a dream when I was a little kid that he was crawling up the bed at me. And he looked terrifying. Oh, no. Because now I'm like, dude, that cat that cat was on meth. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> like, ah, like, just that crawling cat, up the bed. That cat is Badger from Breaking Bad in a past life. Oh, yeah, Badger. I'm like, who's Badger? <laughs> got the voice and everything man helicopter bitch <laughs> um I, that was more macho man so yeah. uh, i'm i'm probably probably going to going to give it to gummy bears give me my too. vote to gummy bears beetlejuice i loved it but i tr we tried to watch it a while back as a kid or as a kid as, as a, adults we, did? we tried to watch it a while back as adults and i don't remember laughing or even cracking a smile once and i was like why did i like this show again I don't remember watching it a while back. See? As kids. <laughs> Shut up, you. Okay, so, um, Gummy, Gummy Bears, Bears it is. is moving on. Alrighty, then. This list is getting weird. Yeah, I know. <laughs> um, 
So next we have, I'm not sure a lot of people will even remember this one, but Denver the Dinosaur. Denver the Last Dinosaur. Denver the Last Dinosaur. Was it? Was yeah. it called that? Yeah. I thought it was, okay. And DuckTales. Or no, you skipped one. It's Denver the Last Dinosaur and Heathcliff. Oh, I'm sorry. Hey, welcome to Sometimes Drunk. Hey. It is... Have another round, <laughs> buddy. It is Heathcliff... Versus Denver the Last Dinosaur. So it's the poor man's Garfield versus... The poor man's Flintstones. The poor man's Flintstones. <laughs> Not exactly, but... <laughs> but, uh... Yeah, Denver's pretty bad. Um, <laughs> I remember I loved it. You know what I think I liked the most about it when I was a kid? The theme song? The theme song. I, I hardly ever remember sticking around for more than two minutes after the theme song. Yeah. Because it's just like, Denver, the last di... Look it up, guys. Yeah. Denver, the last dinosaur. Uh, YouTube that. The theme song is freaking amazing. But so is Heathcliff. I hate the Heathcliff theme song. Heathcliff, Heathcliff, no one Shut up. should Shut I'm going to be singing that for three weeks hood. now. That's why I hate the Heathcliff song. Whoa. Okay, sorry. Hate um, that song. And I just and I think it was um on on that guy with the glasses, uh Paw recently did a review of Little Shop of Horrors. And I was uh I was saying in the comments, I hate this movie and I hate all the music in it. Because I think somewhere deep in my brain there is some irrational hatred for doo wop. <laughs> I love doo wop. I hate doo wop. I love all and that's that why stuff. and that's why I hated every song in Little Shop of Horrors. I and, love the Little Shop. And that's why I hate the Heathcliff theme song. It's doo wop, and I hate doo wop. So you never watched Denver as a kid? No. But I did. I never make even you, knew it existed. I did make you sit through the uh, intro the, and, and the first, first five minutes. Yeah, freaking horrible. I wanted to kill it. <laughs> wanted to kill it. <laughs> very, very good. Like, didn't take long. I was like, let's just do anything other than watch this television show. Um, Heathcliff for me. I'm sorry, I loved Heathcliff. You even go right it, ahead. That's it was the yours. poor man's Garfield, but whatever. I loved it. Your list. Well, so, not your list, but your uh, your choice, because I don't, I don't remember really either of these shows. So, so yeah, moving right along. That you said one, Heathcliff. Yeah, Heathcliff. Definitely. So you want to make? No. <laughs> I don't. I don't want to make my little joke because it was um, funny. I was like, well, before we randomized them, <clears throat> I was like, you know, Denver's not really gonna hold up against any of these. And I was like, when it gets there, I'm just gonna be like, Denver, I'm sorry, <laughs> but you are the last dime. Then slowly, I realized <laughs> how bad of a joke it That's was. Not bad. That's funny. Okay, so You're let's funny. let's move on. What's next? Ah, uh, this one's the one that hurts. Oh God! This one's the one that hurts me, in my in my deepest darkest core of my soul. <laughs> it hurts me so badly to have to choose between Ducktales and Inspector Gadget. Oh, that one's not fair. Oh, it's not fair. Do you remember uh, an Inspector Gadget in like the first episode? He had a mustache. mustache. That's so effed up. In the intro too. Yeah. I was like, I remember we were watching the first episode a little while back, and I was like, when the fuck did he have a mustache? Shave that to be family friendly. Ugh, Mustaches scare children. Yes. So, um, <laughs> DuckTales oh, um, no. versus Gadget. I watched a lot of Gadget, uh, which basically, I really think it should have been called The Penny Show. Mm -hmm. uh, because it really focused on that her. Was, yeah, that was the point. Inspector yeah. Gadget himself, even though he was Was so, an idiot. <laughs> yeah, he was an idiot. Even though he was so technologically advanced and technologically inclined, really, because he had all of these gadgets mm -hmm. grafted into his body, Penny was the one that always solved the crimes. With yeah. that kick-ass book of hers. It's like picking the worst freaking guy. Yeah, I know. Ever to... And that was the whole point of the show. I think a lot of people missed that. A lot of people were like, uh, Inspector Gadget, that should have just been called the Penny Show because he didn't fucking do anything. And what was the and dog's name? And hate on it because of it, Brain. Brain. Why couldn't I remember that? I was like, didn't he have like a fizzle whizzle name? Brain. Um, I. But people well... hate on it because the main character's an idiot. It's like, that's the whole point. Mm hmm. And I love that show because of it. He's the bumbling idiot. Uh, inspector. I was gonna say detective, but it's, he's an inspector. It's like a trench coat and a fedora. Mm. So that we, we have discussed um, um, Inspector Seventies Porn Stash. Um, 
his niece, niece? Yes. Penny. Uncle Gadget. And, uh... Brain the dog. And Fizzy Wizzy Brain. <laughs> um, versus a duck diving into a sea of gold. Which would kill him. No, nah, he'd be fine. He would dive head first in it and he would break his neck, if not bust his skull right open. <laughs> in real life, yeah, if you tried that. Now, if it was paper money, it might cushion things a little bit, but if it was solid gold pieces... I like the thought of him getting up and his beak is like, broke off, and he's like... <laughs> <laughs> that is horrifying! Uncle Scrooge! What is wrong with you? Uncle Scrooge! <laughs> <laughs> And he just falls, blood shooting all over the gold and stuff. Oh, there is something <coughs> terribly wrong with you. So, um, both of those, okay, we've been talking about all the intros. Um, <laughs> both of those have intros that will never die, unlike Uncle Scrooge. <laughs> <laughs> Gee, we know not to do that. No, oh, no thanks so much, bad. Horrifying. Just... Good lord. Uh, uh, I want to find that. What's the nanny's name? She, uh, like, walks in and finds him. Oh, no. What's the nanny's name? I can't remember her name. Mrs. Beakley. Mrs. Beakley? He's just cleaning, and she's just like, boop, 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 holy shit! <laughs> it's like, it's like, what's the movie with James Franco? Oh, 127 hours? <laughs> He'd just been laying down there with his beak stuck in the gold. <laughs> okay, I'm okay, sorry. Does, does DuckTales win because of that? <laughs> I think so now. <laughs> um, I loved Inspector Gadget, but I think DuckTales is the one that's going to stick with a lot of people now. Now, yeah. They're, <laughs> they're like, God, he ruins everything. Um, so, so <clears throat> yeah, DuckTales. I watched way more DuckTales than Inspector Gadget. I did love Inspector Gadget. I loved the theme song. But, yeah. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, woo. Yeah, woo. Are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Okay, so. Uh, uh, we're down to the last. DuckTales moves on. Yes. And we're down to our last two pair our last pair. Our last pair, which <clears throat> is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles versus Care Bears. I can't remember the Care Bears theme. I don't either. But fuck Care Bears. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles wins. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Sorry. They don't even have a chance. They have no chance. They would have no chance in an actual fight and they have no chance here. I don't even know why we put Care Bears on this list. Because yeah. I watched Half an episode of Care Bears when I was little. When I was, yeah. like, four. <laughs> so, yeah, turtles beat the crap out of Care Bears any day. Yes. Which I did have a Care Bear or two when I was a kid, but um, I had so many Ninja Turtles that it's not even <laughs> funny. And we found my little handheld game that I got in, like, 93. Yeah. Of, um... But Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and it still friggin' works. Yeah. Gotta pop some batteries in that thing sometime See, and even, get pissed off at it. Uh, even though, you know, Turtles wins this round, even though this is based on, you know, the cartoons, I don't really remember the cartoon much. I remember the opening, and I remember there being, like, a couple of cliffhanger episodes that I only ever saw one cliffhanger episode and it was the first part, and I never saw the second part of it, which, story of my fucking life. <laughs> <laughs> so, that is, um... But, I'm not done. No, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, go ahead. <laughs> I really have more memories of the of the first live-action movie mm -hmm. and the video games more than I do of the cartoon. Oh, great video games. Yeah. <clears throat> I think that pretty much does it for... Our 80s cartoons. Part one of our 80s cartoons. Part one cartoon. of our 80s cartoons. Good lord. Because we got to pit these guys together, and this is uh, 30 minutes long, so I think we should uh, tie it up. Yeah. Next time, Rescue Rangers versus Ghostbusters. Well, we're going to randomize I'm... those, too. I know, we? I'm just... Are we? I don't know. We'll do something. <laughs> All right. So let's... Well, I guess we should just recap really fast. Rescue Rangers, Ghostbusters, Thundercats, Alvin and the Chipmunks, Gummy Bears, Heathcliff, DuckTales, and the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Next time on Sometimes Drunk. <laughs>